Margaret from Eat Good TV. I hope you are having a wonderful and amazing time wherever you are in the world. And today I am making a special recipe for you. It's my barbecue oxtail. Very, very delicious. I'm going to put it in the oven. Oven barbecue oxtail. Very great. And let me introduce all the ingredients to you. The thyme, scallion, scotch bonnet pepper, onion, and green bell pepper. Gonna... This is the barbecue sauce and this is sweet baby ray. I'm going to use this one. And it's sweet and spicy, so it's going to make the oxtail taste very good, especially with the scotch bonnet pepper with the sweet and spicy. going to be delicious. We have here our onion powder and you can put some garlic powder in it. And this is our Celtic sea salt. And this is my grind all spice pimento. This is my grind all spice pimento. And we are not making jerk oxtail, but I love to use my jerk flavor. And this is jerk sauce. And this is my Eco TV all purpose season. So I use my all purpose season. This is what I make here. I make my jerk sauce. And this is my all purpose. So now we are gonna, the meat is already washed. So I'm gonna blend this and get right back to you. Here I cut up the bell pepper. I cut up the onion, the garlic, the thyme, the scallion. So everything is all cut up. So I'm gonna put it in the blender to blend. For the simple green season blend, I'm just gonna add some. You know, I added vinegar before. I put the vinegar in it, the Brax vinegar. And I'm gonna add some olive oil, about two tablespoons of olive oil. You can add any oil of your choice, whether olive oil, coconut oil, any oil of your choice, like a healthy oil though. You can add healthy oil. And this I'm just gonna put it on medium and blend. So this is the green seasoning. So I'm just gonna pour it into a container. And I'm gonna use two tablespoons. So this is it, you can use it. This is chunky and you can use it refined with whatever you wanna just blend it up and use. And you can add a lot of different stuff to your green season. But this is just a simple one I'm making to put on the oxtail. We are gonna pour our oxtail in the pan. The oxtail is washed and clean. So we are gonna pour the oxtail in the pan here to season. And this is the oxtail. And we are gonna use one teaspoon each of tummy seasoning for the oxtail. A teaspoon each. So I'm just putting two tablespoons of the green seasoning. Two tablespoons of the green seasoning. And I'm using two tablespoons of this. This is a serving spoon, so two two tablespoons of the all-purpose seasoning and this is my all-purpose seasoning so I'm just gonna use that and this is my um, jerk seasoning and it's, we're not making jerk we are not making jerk oxtail so I just use a pinch we are making barbecue oxtail and we need the barbecue sauce to taste in the oxtail so i'm just gonna rub this together okay rub everything together make it nice and then i'm gonna cover the pan and put in the oven and let it cook and then at the end we're gonna add our barbecue sauce
I'm gonna put two, four cups of, you can put four cups of water or you can put four cups of beef broth, but I'm gonna put four cups of beef broth in here so it can cook. And I'm gonna cover with a wax paper, then file paper on the top. So I'm gonna have it covered. I don't have a cover for this pan, so I use file paper and wax paper to cover. Wax up, you'll see me, I'll show you. And I add the liquid to the pan. But when it, once it's almost cooked now, then you put in your barbecue sauce and just let it cook down. But this is gonna be very delicious. Add four cups of water just to the side. On the side here, on the side of the pan, just add four cups of and this is beef broth you can make your own beef broth you can go to the supermarket or the butcher shop and get bones and make your own beef broth so this is beef broth here and i'm gonna add four cups to the pan to cook the meat and i'm gonna cover it and place it in the oven and i'm gonna add all of this because i want it to cook Yeah, then I'm gonna place it in the oven. So it's all nice and seasoned. So I'm gonna put a wax paper and a file paper on top of it and let it just cook in the oven. Paper, so I'm gonna remove the paper. Wow, looking all nice, wow. I could see through the paper <laughs> looking so good but now I'm gonna add some salt let me taste it first and then I'm gonna add some sauce to it looking all good Wow falling off the bone Wow see falling off the bone delicious but it's delicious wanna taste it oh, I'll taste some later you taste some later. It's, it's hot. It's really real hot. It's hot, but I still have to taste it. Okay. Let's taste it small piece. Why oh, it's hot? Mm. It's hot and delicious. I'm just <clears throat> hot and I'm just adding some more sauce to it. And then I'm gonna place it back in the oven for 10 minutes. It's almost finished. Just gonna cover it back and place it in the oven for 10 minutes. some bell pepper rice so I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of oil to the pot so I'm gonna saute the assorted bell peppers so I'm just gonna put them in here to saute them adding a teaspoon of green season and this is just my homemade green season so you just let this cook for four minutes then you add your wash rice and the rice is washed I'm going to add it. I'm just cooking this for four minutes. Now that it's four minutes, just remove the peppers from the pot. I'm just going to place it in here. We don't want the peppers to overcook. We're going to cook the rice and add it back to the rice. And just simmer it down. We don't have to wash the pot. Just add your rice. So this is washed rice, so we're just gonna add it in to the pot. And we're gonna put the water. 
in the pot. So we're just gonna add the water to the rice. Two inches above the rice. Add one teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of salt. Then you just cover it to cook. Just cover to cook. Now that the rice is almost cooked, I'm just going to add one teaspoon of my all-purpose seasoning right here. This is my all-purpose seasoning. I'm just going to add one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. So you know one. Okay. This is a salted bell pepper with scallion and onion and a little garlic. So we're just going to add it into the rice. And it have olive oil in there. You can add butter if you want to add some butter. You can add some butter. So the rice is almost cooked. So I'm just gonna cover it and put it on low flame and let it finish cook. And this is our bell pepper rice. Just cover it and let it cook with the bell pepper. Vegetable. That's mixed vegetable, carrot and peas and broccoli. And over here we have our rice our assorted bell pepper rice. 